Imagine a civilization so advanced that they had urban planning, drainage systems and a standardized system of weights over 4,000 years ago. A society that flourished with commerce art, and possibly one of the world's earliest known writing systems. We know almost nothing about them then welcome to the enigma of the Indus Valley civilization one of history's greatest mysteries. The Discover Isle story begins in the 1920s when British archaeologists, conducting railway excavations in present-day Pakistan, stumbled upon a city barrier under centuries of dust. This wasn't just any city, it was Haripadian. Another site was a nursed Mohanjadaro, revealing a highly developed civilization that had lain forgotten for thousands of years. What's incredible is the sheer scale of this civilization. Stretching over 126 square kilometers, the Indus Valley civilization was as vast as ancient Egypt or Mesopotamia. But unlike those cultures whose pyramids and ziggurats tell their stories, the secrets of the Indus Valley remain elusive. Life in the Indus Valley so what was life like in the Indus Valley? To understand, let's dive into the cities of Harappa and Mohenjo-daro. Imagine perfectly laid out streets, organized neighborhoods, and houses made of baked bricks. So sophisticated that it rivals some modern cities. And here's where things get interesting. Their cities didn't have massive temples or grand palaces. This was a society that seemed almost egalitarian. Their craftsmanship was exquisite and they made intricate jewelry, pottery, and even toys. And small figurines show us that the people of the Indus Valley enjoyed leisure activities. Yes, you heard that right toys. Artifacts like spinning tops, dice, much like we do today. The mysterious script. But if you thought the Indus Valley was fascinating already, just wait until you hear about the language. Archaeologists have uncovered thousands of inscriptions on clay tablets, pottery shards, and seals. This script, known as the Indus script, could be one of the earliest forms of writing. However, there's one major problem we still haven't deciphered it. The symbols often depicting animals, gods, and abstract shapes are a tantalizing mystery. Despite decades of attempts, no one has been able to crack the code. Is it an alphabet? A logographic script, or perhaps a language we no longer recognize. Without understanding their writing, we're left guessing about their beliefs, their political structure, and even their daily lives. And here's where the Indus Valley sets itself apart from other ancient civilizations. Unlike Egypt's hieroglyphs or Mesopotamia's cuneiform, the Indus script gives us no reset stone, no bilingual texts to provide a key to their secrets. We're left staring at these ancient symbols, hoping that one day, someone will crack the code. A culture of trade and connectivity by this silence. We know that the Indus Valley was a vibrant hub of trade. Archaeological evidence suggests connections with Mesopotamia, Oman, and even Central Asia. They exported items like lapis lazuli carnelian beads, and copper often traded with neighboring regions. In return, they imported luxury items and raw materials, indicating they had not only goods, but also the demand for exotic items, a sign of affluence and a thriving economy. Even in trade, they used standardized weights and measures, demonstrating an organized possibly bureaucratic society. But who managed this? Was it a priestly class and merchant guild, or a collective decision by citizens? We can only speculate. The Grey Bath and religion only of the most intriguing structures found at Mohanjo-daro is the Grey Bath. Picture a massive public pool, complete with changing rooms and a sophisticated water supply system. It's one of the earliest known public waterworks in human history. This structure hints at religious or ceremonial practices. But here's the twist we found no temples, no grand statues, no obvious signs of religious hierarchy. Some scholars believe the Great Bath might have been used for ritual purification, similar to practices seen in Hinduism and other faiths. Artifacts like the priest king statue and figures of a mother goddess give us hints of a spirit spiritual life. Perhaps they worship nature, the river, or ancestors. But without written records, this is all educated guesswork. The collapse a vanished civilization for over 700 years. The Indus Valley civilization thrived again, but around 1900 BCE it began to decline. The cities were abandoned, the trade routes disappeared, and this once great civilization vanished from history. But why? There are several theories. Some believe that climate change possibly a shift in the monsoon patterns led to prolonged droughts. Others point to a shift in the course of the Indus River, leaving once further lands dry and barren. A few even suggest invasion, though there's little evidence to support it.
What did the Indus Valley civilization leave behind? Some scholars argue that their legacy is hidden in plain sight in the cultures, customs and traditions of the Indian subcontinent. Their urban planning might have influenced future generations, while their possible reverence for certain symbols, animals, and motifs may still be reflected in Indian culture today. But for now, the Indus Valley remains a tantalizing puzzle. Who are these people? How did they live, and why did they disappear? Each artifact we uncover brings us closer, yet the big questions remain unanswered. As we gaze upon the ruins of Harpe in the Mohenjo-Daro, we're reminded of how little we truly know about the ancient world. The Indus Valley civilization and advanced mysterious and forgotten society beckons to us from the past inviting us to keep searching for answers. Thank you for watching History for Everyone if you're as captivated by the mysteries of the past as we are. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and join us next time for more incredible stories from our shared human history.